Hey guys, I'm here with my 2006 Honda Pilot. Um, now I was not going to do this, but because of the trouble that I'm having, um, I decided that I would film for you guys. Now I'm currently putting in my sound system, and um, with this car, I've just been running into problems after problems after problems with. <laughs> First, I had to figure out where to put my amplifier. Now, I, I placed my amplifier under here, which is under the third row of seat. The third row of seat. I'm not worried, it's messy. I'm going to clean it up after. But um, I placed it under this third row seat, and I already ran the three wires, the power wire, the amp turn on, and the ground wire. I already ran it on that side. And I realized it was such a pain that I had to film and show you guys the process of it um, now in order for you to run anything through this car you have to take the seats out well I, I took the seat out this seat I took it out and when I got to this side I realized that hey I necessarily don't have to take the seat out so this is what I did now I still had to loosen this panel this whole panel that stretches across there because what happens is the back of the seat and this panel this ledge here they form a joint together so you can't take this panel off without lifting that seat up at least lift the seat up and that's what I found out what I could have done under this seat over there that I did on this seat so in order to take this panel off this panel has a ton of screws you have one screw here you're gonna have one here um some people usually take this off but I've, i realize that you don't have to take this off this seat belt the one in the back there you definitely have to take that one off but this one here doesn't need to come off and then you have one more here you're gonna have one more here and then let's go to the back and there are more in the back oh and at the bottom here there are two clips one here and one there you gotta pop those clips out um now on the back here i already you have to take the cover tray off and uh in order to get access to here but there's there's one here there is oh no sorry there's none here this is a this is where the the, the cargo uh, floor pops into but there's one here one here one here and that's it after you take all of those out what I did is I released the um, weather liner for the cargo and then I came around and released the liner for here in order to get access to be able to pop this out now there's gonna be another one down here but you have to lift this seat up because the seats in the way so all I had to do was at the leg of the seat there are these plastic tabs so I pop them off and it exposes bolts which goes in right here so those bolts you have to take it off and then you can lift the whole seat up the seat lifts up and basically exposes this whole area here so with that after that i was able to grab the bottom here you have to hold it from the bottom here and then you start popping it up 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 and then that releases and then i make space here because what i'm what i'm what am i what i'm gonna do sorry is all my wires because I have so much and there's not gonna be enough space to run it here I'm gonna run them just under the carpet and then I'll pop it up through here and then bring it and pop them up here and uh, then I'll run it towards the amp so I'll uh, show you all of that oh let me show you what happened on the other side where I was running the power wire the power wire um 
I was running, taking the, taking the seat up is basically the same, taking this panel is basically the same as over there. And then you have to pop these out. So pop those out. And here is where it gets tricky. Because for here, this does not stay and you have to slide it out. So it slides out and slides back in. Sorry, my arm's in the way. So slides out and then it slides back in. And then this, be very, very careful when you get to this part to pop this out. You'll pop here first. And then when you get to here, under here, you'll, you'll pop from here first. And then you'll bring it around and then pop it out from the rubber but be very gentle because your trunk popper is right here now I followed the video can't remember what his name is but I'll post a link to it in the description where he explains where to um, drill in order to get your power wire through and I have a 4 gauge power wire I'm using a 4 gauge power wire and uh Let's see if we can find it. Where are you? I did it so good that it's hard. It's hard to find it. Ah, there it is. So right up there, just below that silver knob, right by the accelerator, is where I drilled through to be able to get the power wire out. Now let's go to the Let's go to the front and I'll show you where I drilled. So there is where I drilled just to the left of that cable that goes to the accelerator. Um, then I routed my wire through. I still have my fuse to put in. I haven't put my fuse in yet. But what I did is I used two sides of drills first. So I used the 530 seconds. I used the 530 seconds and then I used the quarter. And then after that, I used the step drill. And I drilled all the way down to the bottom, which is the half mark. And for that size, the four gauge wire goes in really smooth. And it's super, it's like, it's a perfect size. It's a perfect size for that wire because it goes in and then there's literally not any space around, around the wire after you're done. It's like the perfect, perfect space, that half inch step. So, yeah, I hope it helps. Um, if you guys need any more um, info, you can uh, comment and uh, let me know. So, I'm going to keep on doing like a continuous build update. But this is my fuse that I have to put in. It's a 120 amp fuse. I'm going to upgrade it to a 150 amp um, fuse later down the road and then I ordered one two male two male to two male and then I ordered two two one male to two male because I'm gonna be running a graphic equalizer and um, the amplifier that I have I'm gonna be running my speakers off the front channels and um, I'm gonna be running my subwoofer of the rear channels. But what am I gonna? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split it from the equalizer. So one of these with the two is gonna go to the front, and the other one is gonna go to the rear. And then I'm just gonna take this one and I put it to the two channels of the amplifier for channel one and channel two. And then the rear. I'm going to connect that to the subwoofer part of my equalizer, if you understand what I mean by that. But I'll show, I'll show you everything when 
I get all my um, the whole sounds when I get to the front part of the sound system and I have to connect everything but after I run the wires I'll pop back up quickly and show you the route that I took to run the wires and um, where the wires pop out to and connect to the amplifier okay so I'll see you then oh my god guys holy crap that was a pain um yeah finally I finally got the wires ran um as you can see it's a lot of wires it's it's basically like four RC cables and four speaker cables and technically it's just two single RCAs and the one double RCA but it was a pain as you can see I routed it all under my carpet and brought this back here and brought it up ran it through this panel and it popped back out up there and I just have to hook up hook them up to my speaker um, at the front just ran through um, and then through the carpet and then it pops oh, if you can see it clearly but it pops up above there so now I have to route it somewhere through there up into the radio whenever I get the radio I'm still waiting I'm still waiting for the radio um, because of the COVID situation everything is taking a long time it took me so long before I get like all of the parts I needed for the sound system um, well, I can't even say all because I still haven't had the radio yet but I said that I would start installing all my cables so by the time the radio comes it's an easy install to do um shit I forgot I still had the backup camera which I probably might not install because <laughs> this thing is a pain I don't necessarily need a backup camera um <laughs> I don't necessarily need one so if I don't have to do it if I like just can do it without having it sure but I'll see how it goes because I just realized and I just realized in order for me to do that I gotta take all this shit back out um <sighs> shit yeah the only other way is to route it around the other side into the car Usually I like routing it here because like there's a lot of like open space and you don't have to worry about um, the pedals and stuff like that. Um, the only other option that I can do is if I get a wireless kit and install a camera that way. Yeah, I think I might do that. Get a wireless kit and install the camera wirelessly. But anyway, enough of that. Um, as you can see, all my cables, I've, lab I've labeled them so that it's not confused. And I have the same labels on the other ends as well. So, RL is for rear left, my rear right. And then for the cables here, I have uh... What did I do? Oh, God, I'm an idiot. I forgot it's... I was like confused. I was like, what the fuck? But like, <laughs> I forget it's a two to one. So I have this as like the front and the rear. And then the other two I didn't label because it's automatically for the subs. So I didn't label them. But I, I have everything labeled. So it's easy for me to, when I hook it up to the radio, everything is uh, all sorted. But yeah, that's basically how you wire a... 2006 uh, I think it applies for any of the body styles 2006 to 2009 I think or 2008 so yeah that's basically it um, whenever the radio comes and uh, I'm going to install the radio then I will do a separate video on installing the radio and then hooking the system up completely 
and um, then uh, get the finished product. Yeah, see you guys later. Hey guys, it's me here again, another day. Um, this would be more than likely the final day installing the sound system. Um, as you can see, I've made a lot more progress um, than since I left off. I think it was a, it was a couple of days ago. Um, but right now I'm here dealing with the radio. So I've already got my aftermarket wire harnesses and what's going to happen is the wires for the speaker are not going to be run into the radio but they're going to be running to the side that plugs into the actual electrical harness here um with that that way the the speakers will be running off the amplifier and not off the the actual standalone amplifier and not off the amplifier for the radio because the amplifier for the radio is not that strong so i yeah, pardon the music in the background my neighbor has his sound system so he's there always playing it but um as you can see down here i've already installed my seven band equal equalizer from rockville uh it's the r7 eq but this is the cable here that's going to be coming from the radio i'm going to wrap it up and um zip tie it and just put it to the back but like i've already ran the wires from the equalizer so this is the ground and these two I just connected the remote and the power wire to the um, to the 12 volt ignition. So whenever I turn the key on, the equalizer will turn on. Um, God, I hope you guys can hear me. Like he's so loud. <laughs> but uh, but at the back, I already connected all of my RCAs. I already connected uh, the RCA to the sub the sub out there and then my rear and then front i'm um, already connected up all those and uh, i ran the wires under here as you can see they already ran up under there and i just zip tied it to the steel bracket that's by the uh, glove box and, I, and how i got it to work was that i pulled the glove box out and in the corner there you see these tabs so you just gotta pop these tabs out they're just the stands that uh, keep the glove box from um, not falling all the way down. So when I did that, I have multiple spaces. As you can see the wires are going through there. I have, mo I have uh, a bigger amount of space to run um, my wires. So yeah, that's how, that's how I did mine. Um, but um, in order for me to get this thing off, um, a lot of people are like, oh, you got to take this thing all the way down. No. All I did was I dropped the steering wheel. And you have the thing at the side there. You drop that down. Drop the steering wheel down. And then you have the two screws. One here. And one over in the corner there. And that pulls the bezel out. And when the bezel comes out, you will have this part that goes in like this. That you just pop it out. And then you have access to the panel and then you just pull the panel out and then you'll have all the screws for the radio it's it's uh pretty straightforward um that's what i like about these cars like to get the radio out it's super straightforward it's nothing difficult but i'm gonna keep on um hooking up the wires and then after the radio is all installed it'll uh, come back again so i'll catch you guys in a few hey guys first i um I gotta apologize to you guys for filming this um, after everything is all put together and um, sorted because I said I would come and do it after after um, I put the wires together and everything but the whole sound system is put together, radio is already installed, um, all the wires are connected and everything. This is probably about a week and a half after the last segment where I stated um, where I was hooking up the radio and everything. But uh, as you can see, everything is installed here. Um, you can see the wires down there running for the equalizer. Um, but yeah, everything's been hooked up. Um, I'll let you hear what the whole sound system sounds like. Um, 
and then I will go through the changes that I had to make to the sound system. That's why I didn't do anything because I got like frustrated after I tried to power on the amplifier, but the amplifier didn't, didn't power on. I'll explain more about what happened with that in a few minutes, but let me just turn the system on and go through a song and let you hear what the system sounds like right now. So turn it, as you can see, the equalizer comes on with the radio, radio comes on. Um, I have a uh, Bluetooth just connected and then um, my media player that I usually use is VLC that pops up. So let me go to my music and I'll play my music videos. I usually like to watch music videos when I'm in the car. Um, so I'll play music videos, I'll play that. And I'll play a song that usually the bass usually kicks off heavy from. And then what I did is, let me turn this down for a little bit. But what I did is I, um, I did it so I just set the, set the volume on the radio once. And then any other volume that I'm turning up. So this is my main volume. This is my sub volume. So anything that I turn or turn down, um, I just do it from here. So I don't ever touch the radio unless I'm changing a song or something. So let's listen to the sound system for a few seconds. And um, you'll hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Easy no one. Psycho. Psycho. So we did the crime, pull up on the scene. Why? Shot fly out, boy, get blind. He's no man, so we did it, so we did it. And we have it. No luck in our chest, and now we do it. You're black, you. Big man, tip them, no stick. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. So that's what the sound system sounds like. Um, I did all the tuning and everything myself, so it's like pretty clear and um, anything like that. I'll link I'll link the the video the video that I'm listening to on YouTube. Um, but uh, let's go to the back, and I will uh, show you all the new updates that I had to do. Okay, so we're here in the back of the car where I had my one amplifier. As you guys can see now, it is actually two amplifiers because um, the amplifier that I had, I bought it from China last year for my sound system. And um, it worked fine last summer, but when I came to hook it up this summer, uh, the amplifier wouldn't turn on. So I took it to an electronics guy and he opened it up and he showed me a ton of corrosion under the bottom of the amplifier and he explained to me that um, where the amplifier was the company that I bought it from they had the amplifier sitting for a long time and there was a bunch of humidity where that where that factory or warehouse was and um, it developed corrosion so I had to scrap that amplifier um, so I have two amplifiers I have this Clarion 1500 watt mono block that I use for my subwoofer and I have this um, SSL Evolution 2 channel 1000 watt that I use for my um, mid range and tweeters. And as you can see over here, I have my um, power distribution fused and my ground distribution in the back there. Um, as I was saying, I'm sorry for the wires and how they are because it's a whole like wiring mess under there. But I had no choice because 
um when i when i ran the wires i ran it for the one amplifier that was over there in the corner so i didn't i didn't um do a contingency plan just in case that amp worked uh, so that was all on me so i had to improvise and do the best i can but um it's still the wires are still ran properly i have all my rcas and all my different types of wires and both amps works fine um so yeah that's the one of the main one of the main changes that's um to the sound system as you can see here the box for the amplifier so it's the ev2.1000 two channel 1000 watt amplifier from uh ssl um and then now i'll go to the back and i'll um explain to you what happened at the back there and i'll show you the updates so here we are look this is my subwoofer it's an infinity 12 12 inch um it comes in a coated box <clears throat> It initially had come in a seal box, but I hate seal boxes, so I um, got a ported box and put it in. But um, the main other thing is that I got the backup camera installed, but it's not installed in how you think. So here's the backup camera. Um, but I remember um, previously I said that I wanted to install it wirelessly because I didn't want to take the panel out. Scratch that. I bought a wireless kit. <clears throat> the wireless kit um, did not connect whatsoever. It just wasn't connecting. So I just got irritated and I just, oh, I just hardwired it. Excuse me. So what I did is, uh, hang on a One second and I'll come back after I get a screwdriver to pop the panel off to show you guys. Yeah, so what I did <coughs> is I had to hardwire it. And here you can see I have it ran to the reverse light here. So this is the power wire and this is the video wire. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's my neighbor. <laughs> Yeah, my neighbor is always making noise. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but um, as I was saying, I connected the power wire here and everything, and I ran it through here into this panel and come around here, around here, and then bring brought it down through into here. As you can see, there's some silicone on here because I literally had to cut this in order to get the wire to pass through. And then I brought the wire down through here, through the headliner, over here into this panel, and then I ran it through the front. So all the panels that I took off, I already showed you how to take them off already um, in order to get the panel, panel running. And um, to get this panel off, it's not difficult. It's just pop this off, there's a screw under here. Pop this off, there's a screw under here. This whole thing comes off and then pop this off and pop these off these are you just use a flathead screwdriver and just screw it out and then the um, panel will, will drop down and then you gotta just pop all these off this off pop this off and pop this off and then it will come off um, so I took the whole panel off and um, And then I just ran it around to the front. And then when I got to the front, I basically ran it the same exact way that I ran. Basically ran it the same exact way that I ran the power wire. Let me show you, let me get under here. And as you can see, there's my power wire, there's my so you'll see my power wire i'm turning on wire and this is the wire what the heck are you doing in here yeah, that's what this is the wire for the backup camera so what i had to do 
is I had to go and I buy bought a coupler because this was not long enough and um, I had to buy a coupler and a secondary RCA video cable and then connected them together and then ran this up into the up into the crevice there and hooked it up to the radio and then this power wire there's another one of these on the other side that I connected to the to the reverse light power as well and I had to extend this with a, just a regular um, wire and then that will go up into the back of the radio and um, hook up to the there's a special pin cable for the reverse light and um, that's what I hooked it up to so yeah so as so you can see everything's done radio equalizer uh, subwoofer amplifiers backup camera um, if there's a portion of this that you need me to break down and explain more to you I can do a separate video to just break down everything and explain it um, again I apologize for not showing the final steps of the radio um, I was just so frustrated after finding out the app doesn't turn on that I just um, hooked up everything quickly and just got out of there but again if you need me to do a separate video to sort everything out I will do so so again until the next project, I'll catch you guys later.